Good evening. In today's video I want to talk about The Forge. So this is the next iteration of the game, the evolution of heavy metals. So this is the next game in that evolution that Yuga Labs is dropping. It's coming out in six days. So I want to discuss everything that we know about the heavy metal Forge. And yeah, Yuga Labs assets have not been too, too hot recently. So I wanted to discuss that as well. What I think potentially the low will be and if I'm going to be buying more Yuga Labs assets at these cheap prices and if the Forge game this new game that they're releasing if it doesn't go down so well if it doesn't hit as well as Dookie Dash did I think that could spark a bit of a capitulation event in Yuga Labs assets across the board so the question is is it actually going to be a good game we've seen some trailers we've seen some ideas of what the game is going to be all about but let's let's dive in and I'll give you my opinion on what the game looks like so just as a reminder, we're now at the journey to evolution two. So this is where we're, what stage we're at in this evolution of what was first a sewer pass, became a doogie dash pass, became a heavy metal, and this heavy metal is evolving into finally one of these mechs. So right now these heavy metals are actually just the head of the mech, or it kind of looks like it's just the head of the mech. And as you play all these games, you're going to be able to upgrade it or change it and evolve it eventually into the mech. And that mech is going to fight in the upcoming cosmic battle battle that i've discussed a few times on this channel so yeah we'll dive into that as well further on in the video So from that trailer, you see they didn't really release too much about the rules of the game. They just kind of gave you an idea, a kind of a flavor of what's going to be coming in the game. So I wanted to dive into what what I think is going to be happening. But I think they've kind of learned when they started releasing the rules about the Legends of the Mara game. I'm not sure if you saw my videos about them or if you saw about that on Twitter. It was extremely confusing and like it was just kind of unnecessary to tell us the rules of the game before the game has even come out so it just kind of confused everyone no one really understands and yeah i think they've kind of learned from that mistake that there's no point telling you us the rules of the game until the game is actually released because you can't really understand how to play a game until you actually can play the game like trying to learn chess by just learning the rules through a book for example is probably not the best way to learn how to play chess you have to just go and try the stuff out and see what happens if you know what i mean but what we can see from this trailer is that we have to build flex fight and evolve so what are we building we're building these little we get these little land parcels almost and we have to, so essentially you're given this little workshop so this little parcel of land and you have to customize it you get these energy points so you get a certain amount of energy probably let's say for example 100 energy per day and likely if you want to increase the amount of energy you can get per day you can probably buy some with apecoin just probably there's going to be some interaction with apecoin like there almost always is so you have to customize make your workshop look cool so i don't think this game has a, a real meaningful objective it's not like it's probably somewhat similar to farmville where there's no underlying objective apart from growing your farm and making it look cooler and making it bigger and stuff i think that's probably somewhat similar to what's going on here so it's just make your workshop look as cool as possible upgrade it as much as possible and then eventually that workshop will be used to evolve evolve your heavy metal into a mech in my opinion and the idea with this workshop you're going to be able to vote on other people's workshops so downvote or upvote on other people's workshops and the objective is to have the coolest or the the best workshop that people will vote on and you'll unlock special abilities and stuff so that's the build and then the flex part of the forge that i've just explained then we have the fight phase so i wonder what the fight phase so we're either fighting at the end of the trailer they say whatever the fuck this is <laughs> so it's some monster some evil character and we also had some evil character at the end of the last other side um trip two at the trip two we saw a massive dragon coming out maybe that's related to this because this looks like a very large ominous being so maybe we're fighting that but i think there's also a possibility that we could be using our mechs to fight each other as just kind of like practice uh, for the big upcoming battle that is going to be coming out so it'll probably be somewhat similar to like robot wars so if you remember that tv show where you're just 
battling each other in the arena that they've teased. That's what I think is a possibility. Now, I'm not saying that's guaranteed. So we're either fighting each other in like kind of robot wars or in the more likely scenario, we're fighting this big evil character. You can see from this trailer, it says fight and that has that evil character in the background. So probably not fighting each other. And then finally the evolve phase where you've made your workshop the best it can possibly be and you can use the workshop then to create your final mech. So in both Legends of the Mara and in The Forge, both of these games have been called just Season 1. So I'm guessing that these are persistent games. So they're either persistent or they're going to come back in different ways in future seasons. So once we have our evolved mechs, these mechs will be used in the upcoming cosmic battle that Gary the Dog has been teasing for months and months now. And I personally think with everything that's going along with other side, the shattered, all these vessels, I think eventually these two worlds will collide. Now that hasn't been fully confirmed yet, but I think this upcoming battle that Gary the Dog is talking about is the same battle that has been teased in the other side and Legends of the Mara. So in a few months or potentially a few years, finally these two world worlds will collide and everything will click and it will all make sense. That's what I'm speculating. And Legends of the Mara is coming out next month, hopefully in July, that's what they've said. So Legends of the Mara is in July and The Forge is coming out in six days. So plenty of activations over summer. So hopefully we're somewhere near the bottom in Yuga Labs assets, but maybe let's just talk about that for a minute. So like I mentioned, Heavy Metals, well, when there were sewer passes, topped out at three Ethereum and now they're like 0 0.7 on a good day. They're under 0 0.7 Ethereum. So almost a 75% drawdown. So it was only a few months ago that it was Yuga season and mutants were 20 Ethereum. Dookie Dash pumped all the way to three Ethereum. Everyone was talking about the Dookie Dash. So when there's actually a game going on for Yuga Labs or there's something coming out for Yuga Labs, generally that is Yuga season. And right now we're in the depths of a Yuga bear and a lot of people are starting to panic on Twitter. And if you're a holder of some Yuga Labs assets and you're feeling a bit of panic, if you're thinking, oh my God, this potentially is going to go to zero, that's usually a good sign that we're somewhere near the capitul capitulation event. We're somewhere near the bottom in my personal opinion. Like I think if this game doesn't hit, if this game is a bit boring or something, potentially we could get a final capitulation for apes. So maybe apes could go all the way down to like 25 Ethereum and mutants down to like five Ethereum. I think that would potentially be an extraordinarily good buying opportunity. And I'm starting to see people on Twitter again saying, Izuki is going to flip apes. Like anytime you hear something like that, that's generally like, it, it's never happened. And I personally think you have just brought on three major gaming executives from like the top gaming companies in the world. So it's likely that the games that they're going to be releasing aren't going to be shit. Like they might not be amazing. They might, they're just kind of games in between, like to keep us occupied until they can release the other side until it's fully developed. But even so, like I doubt it that the games are going to be totally crap. And every time you hear like about Zuki flipping apes, uh, fucking Moonbirds flipping apes, it's never happened. And it's usually a good signal that potentially apes are getting a little bit undervalued and eventually Yuga rises to the top like it always has. Now I know it's been hard without Gordon Gunner. He kind of he is really the creative brains in my opinion behind Yuga Labs, behind Board Ape Yacht Club. He is pretty much the goat in the NFT space or one of the goats. I, I hope he's doing okay. If you don't know, he's just very sick at the moment so he's stepped down his, from his role in Yuga Labs so I hope he's doing well but it has been tough without him but yeah still like the Yuga Labs team are still the best team in the NFT space by a long shot now there are some upcoming competitors there's some really strong upcoming NFT projects at the moment such as Pudgy such as Azuki such as D Gods like I'm not shitting on any other NFT project that are doing extraordinary extraordinarily well i think they probably deserve it for sure but you guys number one for a reason well they'll they'll be back in my opinion okay thank you so so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one cheers